Elon Musk is promising superhuman abilities after revealing a brain chip chip has been implanted in a second patient. It's part of a clinical trial for the technology called Neuralink. If all goes well, Musk says he expects the company to implant eight more patients with the device by the end of the year. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest. What could be a game changer for people living with severe physical disabilities. Elon Musk revealing a second patient has been implanted with Neuralink, an experimental brain computer interface that allows patients to control technology with their mind. Musk is a co-founder of the startup. I don't want to jinx it, but it, it seems to have gone extremely well with the second uh, implant. So there's uh, a lot of signal, a lot of electrodes. It's working very well. Not much is known about the second patient, including when they received the implant, but we do know they suffered a spinal cord injury, just like Nolan Arbaugh. This is all from there to there. Yeah, ma'am. Arbaugh was the first Neuralink patient. He opened up to Good Morning America back in May. I was just very happy that I would be a part of something that I believe is so monumental in this next step forward of helping people with paralysis. Musk says he believes Neuralink will allow all humans, whether they have physical disabilities or not, to more efficiently interface with the digital world and even compete with artificial intelligence. If it's extremely safe um, and you have and, and you can have superhuman abilities, I think probably a lot of people would, would choose to have it. The news, only one of the major breakthroughs for people facing mobility issues. Synchron, another company using brain implants to give disabled patients access to computers, recently released this video. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Is it? Yeah. Cool. Nice. It's like watching a theater. Showing a 64-year-old man with ALS who cannot use his hands, playing games and sending texts through an Apple Vision Pro headset. It's just another way to retain as much independence as possible. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.